YouTube of Visual Gaming Network and welcome to episode 9 of our Mario game in Java tutorial. Last episode we created buffer strategies and our graphics object and we created two rectangles, one blue, one red. This episode we're going to be creating superclasses. Now I'm going to explain what a superclass is and then we'll get to the tutorial. A Java superclass is a class which gives a method or methods to a Java subclass. A Java class may be either a class, a superclass, both, or neither. A cat class in the following example is the subclass and the animal class is the superclass. These sort of things are called inheritance and polymorphism. So now we're going to right click on our source folder, then go to new, package, and we're going to call it com.tutorial.mario.entity. We're going to be creating two subclasses, entity and tile. So we'll go source, we'll create another package. Uh, a tile is also another name for a block, it's just that I like to call it tile. So we're going to go com.tutorial.mario.tile. And uh, we're going to be creating our subclasses right now. So on our package, we want to right click. And go to new class and we're going to call it entity whoops entity yep uh, make sure the entity class is in the entity package and the tile class is in the tile package I'll hit finish as you can see we've created an entity class so now we're going to type we're going to create some variables first is the X and Y coordinate because uh, every every tile, every entity is going to have a position on the screen and that's going to be our X and Y coordinate. X being horizontal and Y being vertical. And we're going to create public int width and height. And you can see we don't actually initialize the variable so we don't go public int X equals 100 right now and you'll, and you'll see why later. So now we're going to type public boolean solid. Now we're going to create the constructor for our entity class like we did here in for our game. So we're going to type public entity. And uh, we're going to actually uh, type some variables in there. So we're going to type int x, int y, int width whoops my bad, int height and boolean solid and so why we do this is we have to specify these variables when we declare our entity object so I'm just gonna go an example here we'll type entity test is equal to new entity we'll get an error because uh, filling in these variables is compulsory or you must do it so let's give it an x and y coordinate so right now, this is the x because it's first, this is the y because it's second. Let's give the width and height will be 50 and 100. And uh, let's say we want it to equal to true. And there we go. So now we know that uh, we have to initialize these variables once we declare an entity object. But we haven't actually set it. We've created it, but we, haven't, we need to set this x equal to this x and this y equal to to this y. So how we do that is we type this dot x is equal to x. So remember like our threads this is referring to the entity class. So this dot x is this x is equal to the x we have specified here. So now we're going to type this dot y is equal to y. This dot width is equal to width. My bad I need to put a semicolon. This the height is equal to height and this dot solid is equal to solid 
All right, now we got that out of the way, we're going to create some methods. First is our public, my bad, public void render, and we're going to type graphics G. And while we type graphics G, instead of creating, oh, we need to import it, my bad. And why we type graphics G instead of creating buffer strategies is because, let's say there's 100 entities, we're going to have over 300 buffer strategies, and that will lag the shit of our computer. It will pretty much obliterate it. <laughs> and because we've already created a graphics object in our game here, uh, we can use this graphics object as, uh, as this graphics object. So... I'll give you an example here. We're going to type. You don't have to type this entity dot render, and we're going to put G to specify the graphics object uh, that we need here. And now we're just going to leave that alone for now. I'm going to create public void tick. Oh, that will pretty much update our entity. And we're going to create. And we're going to create getters and setters. And we're going to create getters and setters for x, y, and solid. Now, I'm going to explain what a getter is. A getter pretty much gets the value of this. Of Let's say we create a method get x. Get x will, is a getter and it gets the value of x. And setters pretty much the sets the value of x. So, this is a shortcut. We could type public void get x blah 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 so but we're gonna actually use a shortcut and be sneaky so we'll right click on our entity package whoops actually more our entity class we're gonna go source and click generate getters and setters Oop, let me just drag that in and uh we're going to select uh, what getters and setters we want, so we want to type, uh, click X, Y, and solid. We're going to click OK. So there we go. Uh, we can see that we've created getters and setters for X. So public in get X uh, returns the X value. Uh, when we set X, we have to specify uh, the value of X, like we have to specify graphics G in our render method. And uh, this is pretty much the same for everything. So, yeah. So now we're going to create our tile class, which will pretty much be the same old thing. So we're going to type tile. Actually, no. We'll leave that alone for now. We want to go back to our entity class. And we're going to create two new variables, that, but we're not going to set it in the uh, constructor. Sorry about that. I'm going to type public int vel x or velocity x and velocity y. And we're going to create some more getters and setters. You can also uh, click source here, but I'm going to go entity just to show you guys. So generate getters and setters. All right, and we're going to uh, tick uh, vel x and vel y. Oh, sorry. Alright, and uh, we're going to actually remove the uh, get val x and get val y because we don't really need them. So we'll see the set val x is then we have to specify and setting val y equal to val y. And uh, we're going to type x plus equals val x and y plus equals val y. So let's say if we set velocity y to 5, so every time our the tick method for our entity or tile is being called. Uh, y will be incremented by the amount of velocity y, and this is the same for x. So now we're going to go into our tile class and pretty much uh, copy paste the whole uh, sort of class. So we're going to Command C or Control C if you're on Windows. I'm on Mac, so I use Command C. Then Control or Command V. And uh, remember, because this is a tile class and not entity, we have to change our constructor to public tile. So I'm going to wrap up the episode here. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And next episode, we're going to be doing some more things with super classes, or we'll get uh, our handler class going. Okay?
See you guys. Bye. Yo, YouTube, back with some more fucking Mario. I don't know why people even like this shit. Anyway, we're going to be making a fucking game quit every time we open it. So we just type system.exit. Alright, right, we'll run it. Uh, hurry up, bitch. Come on. Come on. And there we go. It just... There we go. It just fucking quit by itself. Alright, so... Don't subscribe to this shit because it sucks and you won't get anything out of it. Peace, motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, for real. Three, two, one.